Hello again, YouTube Reenactor Talk coming at you. Just doing a little channel update here and a little miscellany gear. Um, you might see the hat here. I did say earlier that I did, did a Vietnam impression. Uh, U.S. I, specifically, I do a First Marine Division impression. I'm selling all that stuff, or at least my rig. Uh, probably just keeping the clothes to make way for my newest impression. Uh, I usually only do two at a time. Um, I already have a GI one. This will be my British impression for the Indonesian confrontation. And here's a little research material. Uh, just just one of uh, many. Uh, this guy, Nick Vanderbilt, writes some good books. Uh, he's done one about the Cyprus emergency. The confrontation, as you see here, which he kind of starts off with the melee emergency, which is 48, 1948 to about 60, 61. And then the Indonesian emergency, well, they that borders Malaysia. Uh, so this is a 1950, or a, yes, a 58 pattern large pack. The British kind of named their stuff after years. Uh, the melee emergency was basically all 44 pattern stuff. And you can mix and match 44 pattern with the confrontation. Uh, now, I don't have a yoke for this yet. And it just kind of hooks on with these. But I got this for 15 bucks from a surplus store. Which really isn't bad considering most British stuff, especially clothing, will be quite expensive since it's imported. That is, if someone knows what they have. But in here, it's kind of like the American pack from World War II. As far as what you put in it, you put in extra shoe or not shoe socks, clothing, rations, what have you. It's got two utility pockets on the side. Uh, this right here is for your entrenching tool. But uh, that's a little little update here for for y'all in a uh, YouTube land. There. Uh, this is all I have so far for the impression. Um, but definitely more to come. Uh, eBay is always a good source if anyone's looking to get into that. Uh, best thing about the confrontation or even the melee emer emergency if you do that, uh, you don't need a helmet. You don't. Uh, so, yeah. This is uh, where, where I stand right now, but... Uh, there's some good groups out there that can help you easily get the stuff you need or point you in the right direction. A lot of them are in Britain, but they're very helpful. Uh, I want to give a shout out to a Facebook group, British Forces Loadout. Uh, Y'all are real helpful. Uh, real nice guys, too, because uh, some pages, as far as reenacting goes, on Facebook, some of the guys on some of the pages, and I'm not naming names, but they're american gi pages uh they are not incredibly helpful some of them are some aren't just depends on the individuals and some of the individuals are downright jerks and that's the kind of people you want to try and avoid in the hobby so here's the update and i'll have more for you soon